me and Mike are, are really great friends. Here we go. It's always selling for you. Social media is a great place for that to spread and sometimes it can spread like wildfire. Over a million, two million dollars in revenue that you didn't have before online. I know that I bought from people just because I liked that person. It can branch outside of social media as well, but the, the point is you really just want people talking about your product. Back at it with season three. What up? Hey. Let's do it. I missed you, man. Dude, I miss you too. I, I feel as though, you know, Illinois is back at home. I'm back in office. I got COVID over the holidays. <laughs> Me too. Now that it's over, I'm I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I'm ready. And I think we have a really nice topic here to kick off season three. Um, what we're doing this season, little quick intro here, is we're going to call it the great debate. And essentially, Wilbur and I are going to choose opposite ends of an issue. And we're going to each plead our case. And what we'll do is we'll let uh, everyone else kind of duke it out over social media. You can plead your own case to see, see who you agree with more. I do want to say, you know, maybe we'll probably take some stances over the course of the season that we don't agree with just for the sake of uh, putting on some, some good shows here for you all. But I think today we actually do have a conflicting stance on something. So it's a pretty good topic to, to start with. Yeah, I think so too. And I think this is a great way for people to kind of learn, engage, and kind of see both sides to every scenario. I think that's what we really want to give. And, mm -hmm. and there's no real right answer because there's businesses that do it each way. There's people that do it each way. But I think just kind of giving perspective from my side, from your side, and then let the people decide. I love that. Ooh, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> All right. So today, should you put pricing on your website? You want to go first or me? Uh, I'll go first. Okay. So I am, it really depends on the business, right? And the industry that you're in. If you're e-commerce, if you're selling things online through products and things like that, software, I 100% agree that you should put pricing on the website because you're, you're trying to create a transaction for that person immediately that's automated they know what they're getting. You know what to do afterwards and 100% on board. I think where me and you, this the line is where like service-based companies, should they have pricing on their website mm -hmm. or on their website? Like for example, UTech, right? Mm -hmm. You are for pricing on the UTech website. I am against pricing on yes. the UTech website and, or other companies as well. But I'm going to use that as, as an example. The reason why and I'll just start with one take and then I'll let you take it and then we can kind okay. of go back and forth. But cool. the number one reason why I don't like pricing on a website for our business or for service-based businesses, because you can't get everything wrapped up in a message, in a package for a lot of businesses. And what I mean by that is, is that, okay, great. We have social or SEO on our, on our website. And these are the different packages that we have. My mindset is if I go to that website and I see, okay, well, SEO package is 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 6,000, and that's the services. I think that I'm limited within that box. I think that I'm limited in regards to what that company can do. And it's really cookie cutter. And it's, this is the platform that you're going to get. And so my take is, I would rather just say, hey, we offer SEO services. We have a sales team here. We have marketing team here. We have an SEO team here. Call us. Let's set up a meeting and let's go over exactly what your needs are so I can fit the perfect solution to you rather than you trying to guess what the solution is. And I think that that's my biggest take, but I'll start there and, and let you kind of go. Well, I'm not going to lie. That was really good. <laughs> um, okay. So my, I approach this from a different mindset. And I think that's probably why we differ is it, everything you said, I think is, is valid quite honestly. But if I'm the customer and I'm coming to a service-based website, again, we, we totally agree on the e-com thing. That's like right. not, not even a topic. Yeah, right. the, if I'm coming to a website and I need something done for me and I have a general idea of my budget in mind and budget's my number one consideration, which sometimes it is, many times it probably is depending on what it is, then I need to know the pricing and maybe I need to move quickly. And if I have to go through a ton of hoops and schedule a call with you, and maybe at the end of the call, you still don't even tell me the pricing and the, you know, whatever, 
I, I, at that point, I'm like, was, I'm wasting so much time here trying to find the best solution for me. And price might be, you know, a, something that right away, let's say I went to the UTEC site, I see the price and I'm like, that's in my ballpark. Perfect. Let's set up a call. I've already, I'm a more qualified lead when I come through at that point, because you've already gotten past the pricing hurdle. So right. that, that would be my initial take as well. And I'll pass back to you. All right. So that's good. But here's the thing in, in most service-based businesses in, in like you tech, and I'm sure you know, this is that we're not just that service based, right? So like SEO, you found the package that you want, your main focus is budget. And that's what you, you're, you're catered to do. In most cases, I would say 90% of the cases, they're not just coming to us for a service like SEO, right? They want, there's a goal in mind, right? It's to get more leads. It's to get more customers. It's to um, get ahead of their competitors, things like that, where they have a problem and we have a solution, just they have to pick the package. And a lot of times, if you're price-based and you're budget-based, you're going to limit yourself based off of what the actual return can be if you think that way. And that's, that's I guess that's my, my mindset is if I'm walking into a business and I need leads right now, I need leads right now, but I know my budget is 5000 a month. And I look on your website and I see an $8,000 package, a $7,000 package. And I'm like, nope, I already disqualify them. I'm not going to call them. There's no relationship form. I'm just, it's a no because they're over budget. I missed out on that opportunity because all I need is one phone call with that customer and say, hey, listen, I understand your budget's 5,000. This is what we can do. We package something else together. Or I could say, hey, listen, it's not going to work at this 5,000. It's just not if you want to be ahead of your competitors, because I can show based off data that your competitors are spending 7,000. So you need to compete with them. And so I can tell you right off the bat, like, listen, I know your budget's 5,000. If you can figure out a way to get to seven or 8,000, we can make this work. And in most cases in service space, if they like you, if they trust you, if they understand you, if you have the credibility, they're going to up that budget because they know that you're going to back them up on it. I think that's where my differentiator is. And I think in digital marketing, especially our service, the only reason why I hire companies as a service-based company or people hire us is because one, they don't know how to do it or two, they don't want to. So I think those are the, the obstacles that we have to get through in, in regards to, well, if they don't know how to do it, then I rely on them to tell me exactly what I need to do rather than me dictate, I have $5,000 to get this done. Yeah. Well, no, that's not how that works, right? Like if I, if I need a new HVAC unit or it's service, I need it, I need it fixed. My AC goes out, I need it fixed. I'm not going to call 10 million places and say, hey, I have a $50 budget. You know what I mean? Yes. It's more of like, okay, they're going to tell me, okay, well, your HVAC, you need to replace this part, this part, this part, or you can get a new unit. Those are your options. If you get the new unit, you can finance it. You can do this, you can do that. And now all of a sudden I'm like, all right, well, maybe I do need a new unit because I can kind of get through that, that hurdle and I don't have to worry about this problem anymore. So I guess that's my mindset on that. Yeah, I, I, again, sound argument. I think it depends, and, and maybe I'm sort of reshaping my argument here as you talk, but I think it depends on the complexity of the solution. Where if you're, if you're competing solely on price or if price is like one of the main factors, I still maintain my stance that you should put pricing there. But if you're more so competing based on your expertise or um, your level of knowledge or your approach, or you, you have some different way of going about the solution that maybe they're not considering and they need to talk through it, then yeah, I, I think you're right. Truth. And I don't know if it's allowed for me to agree with you, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, but no, like in a situation, let's go back to the HVAC thing. Cause I think a different way to approach that might be like, for me, if my furnace breaks, I am going to be looking for the cheapest option to replace my furnace. I don't necessarily care about getting some super awesome repair job or whatever. I just want to know, like, what is this going to cost me? Can you come today? Can you fix it? So if it's said on your website, like, we never charge more than 15 grand max or something like that. I'd be like, okay, you know what? No matter what, my furnace is completely conked out. I can get a brand new one 
for no more than 15 grand. Like that might appeal to me a little bit, but I also understand that there, there needs to be a consult that comes with that. Right. Like they don't know what's wrong with it prior to me getting there. Right. So yeah, to, to list pricing for something like that might be difficult. I guess in that instance, you know, like the free consultation, that's sort of like where that kind of stuff comes in, but yeah, you might have me beat, dude. You might have me beat. I don't know. I guess my question is like for HVAC, let's just go to HVAC again. Like a lot of places they'll put like $150 special for a cleanup or, you know, they don't give you the price of the HVAC unit or the furnace unit because they don't know what brand you're going to buy, yeah. how big it needs to be and all of that. So it's hard for put pricing on that for a website. So I think that's where if, if you're thinking, and that's really more of a product than service, I guess for you, for service, if you're going to a website in regards to $150 to $100 or whatever, you're going to call the cheapest one if you're budget oriented. But I think for me or for other people, maybe they're going to look at reviews on Google. They're going to look at all these things and you might be cheaper by 50 bucks. But if you have three star reviews, I'm not calling. You. Yeah. So I think, well, what, you know what I mean? what about something like hosting? Like you could go to a GoDaddy and you can host for what, 10, 15 hours a month. Yep. And obviously there are benefits to the services that, that charge more and, and like hosting it through someone like us too. Right. But they list out pricing and that's a service. And is it just the sheer quantity of it? That I think their business model is based off of quantity because I don't think real, any real business that gets real traffic would be on GoDaddy hosting for $15 a month. I mean, yeah. you have to be getting less than 2,000 users a month on that website. With At that time, I think their target is the mom and pop shops, the one, the startups, things like that, where they're going to host on GoDaddy. But I can tell you, you can't go to AWS and get pricing on AWS for hosting. Like, it, you, you, you just can't do it. And, and it's just different. The model is different in regards to it. And I think our model reflects AWS more than it does GoDaddy, right? It'd be sure. different if we were Squarespace. Squarespace, if you go on, you know it's $15.99 to build out a website. With us, you have to call, call us because we have to talk to our developers. We have to talk to our designers and figure out a custom breakout of how the website works. So I think that's where we align differently. But yeah, another area too, just to think about is like dentist office or doctor's office. They don't put pricing on surgery. Like you have no idea, right? I know, I know obviously insurance is, is covering a lot right. of it, but they're not going to put their, all right, if you want, if you want this, this is how much it costs. But we know a CAT scan will be a thousand dollars per picture that they take. And they go in there and they're like, oh, I need five pictures. I'm like, oh, that's $5,000. You know, like, you know, that type of stuff, but they're not going to post it on their website because they're going to deter people. So I think that's yeah. where, I think we're, maybe we don't align, but I do agree with you though. Like if your business model is, is, is tended to be quick, easy, and targeted for a specific group like small businesses or or things that is very cost driven. Then I do think that you need pricing, even if it is a service model, right? So like if you like if you go if you're driving, you see a car wash for five dollars, and then you see a car wash for ten dollars, you're probably just going to go into the five dollar one, right? right? So I 100% agree with you there. But from a business standpoint where you're going business to business, or maybe you're more of a solution oriented business or, you know, um, where you're not focused on more on price, you want the relationships, you want the solution. I think, you know, it's better for us to create that relationships. Call me, let me know your problem so I can figure out a solution for you. And then our sales guys are trained to also not waste time too. And I think that that goes in to the organization itself is, Hey, listen, we're going to give you the solution, but we're going to tell you the pricing out right up front. And we don't want to waste our time either. If you don't have the budget to pay what we think is necessary, then, you know, by all means, good luck. And, you know, we wish you nothing but the best, but maybe you need to go find a freelancer. Maybe you need to go find more of an entry level person, but because for us, we hire high qualified people, um, experienced people, and we have high overhead. I mean, it's, it just mm. is what it is, but do we produce the results? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, I think we've somewhat reached a consensus on it in that I, I agree that, you know, for a business like I'm agreeing on camera. Yeah, great Damn, debate, it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm agreeing on camera. Uh, no, I think you're right. Like if, if a, a deeper conversation needs to be had and a more complex solution needs to be worked out, 
you can't, you can't probably put pricing. If you're more commoditized and your solution is a one size fits all, right. and you're just trying to pump that out quantity right. wise, then yeah, pricing is a good idea. Yeah. All right. So, does this mean I win our first debate? I don't know that I want to like, you know, say that right now. <laughs> you know, we can let the people decide, but right, uh, I, I think I need to, you know, research a little bit before we hit episode two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Appreciate right. it. Thank Thanks, you everybody. Bye. What's up, guys? Norris here. Haven't seen enough of me yet. I'm back again. Typical ice cream video here. Leave us a like if you liked the video. Drop us a comment if you didn't. Or if you have something to say, we'd love to hear from you. Last but not least, subscribe. We'll put that button like right above here. And uh, go ahead and click that. We get all updates on our videos going forward. Thank you so much for supporting us. We hope they like the videos. We love recording for you.